How's it going everybody? In this video we're going to cover a brand new concept. So we're going to take our C++ again to another level. Now all I have here is my basic stuff. I got my BioStream and I got my string. BioStream and I got the string class. Okay. Uh, library. I'm sorry. Okay. And I made a class called Beaker. And I made it real simple. All it's going to have is a public or it's going to have a volume and a name and everything's double. Just because I want to keep it really simple here. Okay. So I want to make an int. I'm going to call it A and B. And I'm going to have a char called um, CH1 and then CH2. And I'm going to set them, set them equal to a plus and then minus respectively. Okay, and then I'm going to set A and B equal to uh, 5 and this is equal to 9. Okay. That's all we have. That's it. So what am I showing you? Well, what if I wanted to uh, switch these values here, make throughout a function? I'm going to make a new function. Make it void. I'm going to call it trade. Trade uh, int memory address a comma. I'm going to say x comma memory address y kaboom kaboom and uh, all it's going to do I'm going to make a uh, temporary hope I spelled that right I'm going to call it temp and this is once an int once it to know it's an int and I'm going to say temp is equal to x I'm going to say x is equal to y and then y is equal to temp. Now what do you think this does? This function does here. All it does is just switch the values of the variables. That's the only thing it's supposed to do. So if I output a and b and I call this function a comma b I know this seems like a review of 40, but I'm just trying to show you something. And I know a lot of you don't like how my videos are very slow, but I'm trying to make it as simple as possible because I don't want to make them too fast because there's plenty of other videos that go way too fast. So uh, let's figure out what happened here. The void is illegal. Uh, let's see. What's wrong? INT, INT. And let me run it again, see what's wrong. <sighs> Did I forget something? I don't see any errors, do I? Yeah, of course. I forgot the semicolon at the end of my class. Okay. Now it runs. Alright, so we see that it switches the values. Well, what if I were to switch my characters? CH1, CH1. I can't do that. Actually, I'm going to make it 2. CH2. I can't do that because this only takes some integer types. I would have to write another function or change, this, change all these to int just to make it work. And that's going to be annoying. So now, we're going to learn something completely new right now. We're going to learn two new keywords. One of them is called template. Now we're going to put a less than a greater than sign. We're going to say, uh, I'm not item, um, what is it, type? Type name, and I'm going to call it capital T. You can call this whatever you want. That capital T can be called whatever you want it to be called. In this case, I'm going to call it T. Below this here would go a function. Now we're only barely scratching the surface here. We're going to put functions in it for these for, for the time being. So we got void trade. Well, instead of these, since this is a type name T, right? I want to call this T. 
And uh, these are going to switch all these to T. These all have the type name T. Basically, you can think of this type name as a wild card. It can take in ints, it can take in chars, it can take in doubles, it can take in floats. And, uh, well, I guess that doesn't help because I didn't make the CH1. CH2, CH1, CH2. You're right. It'll switch them plus to minus, and it'll switch the other one minus to plus. Because so you can, this is we're only barely scratching the surface of these templates here. We can we can take in any type that we would want. Let me undo a couple things here, just to switch those names. Let's say I made this beaker. I can even make it my own custom classes. Beaker A and B. Now obviously, I can say. I don't know if I can do this or not. Yeah, it probably doesn't like that. I've never done it that way before. Alright, let's just do it this way. I, I know I don't know. And you can say a dot volume is equal to six. A dot name is equal to a little beaker. And let's uh, copy and paste these here. And then we're going to switch these to B. And let's say it's a seventeen. I'm going to call it big beaker. So once we have that, I'm going to switch these. And uh, uh, this is going to take forever. Well, you get the idea, hopefully. These will actually switch every single possible value. A and B. So I'm going to output A dot name here. And it'll switch What's going on? I guess I need to print it out to the screen first. And it says big beaker even though they're switched. Okay, and everything will work fine. So we're barely scratching the surface and we'll go over and more about this in the next tutorial because there's plenty more to go over with these templates. And let's see where I'm at on time. I'm at eight minutes. Okay. Um yeah, I'm just going to stop it here because there's a lot more to say about these basic templates. So, to be continued.